Hi everyone, I am gonna show you how both momentum and kinetic energy concepts are necessary to deal with collision by colliding two spheres in a Newton's cradle. If we collide two balls from identical pendulum by releasing one ball from a certain height and uh, keeping another ball is at rest, after collision, momentum transfers to the rest ball. Consequently, turn by turn, they are in motion and rest state. Let us see another scenario where a ball hits to another ball of three times the mass. Does it show similar manner of oscillation and collision? What should be the released height of one m mass ball to be its momentum equal and opposite to three m mass ball? You need concept of both conservation of momentum and conservation of kinetic energy to analyze this problem. If we release both ball from same height they collide with equal and opposite velocity. Since the bigger ball, the 3m mass ball here, has three times more momentum. From conservation of momentum, momentum transfers from bigger ball to smaller ball. So, immediately after first collision, the smaller ball has two times more velocity than before the collision. Consequently, after collision, the smaller ball reaches to the height of four times than before. The system is ready for second collision. The 1m mass ball hits with double momentum during second collision. How can we find out velocities immediately after second collision? We need concepts of both conservation of momentum and conservation of kinetic energy. When a lighter object hits against heavier object, it bounces back with imparting some momentum to heavier object. Here we have taken the ratio of mass is 3 is to 1 so the shear kinetic energy the 3m ball gets back its same kinetic energy and same momentum but in opposite direction where it was in the first collision this process repeats until damping the motion of the system